Alright, Metro 2033, Ranger Hardcore Difficulty, uh, Chapter 3, Khan, uh, Ghosts. Um, so, now we're following Khan. Uh, he's apparently been, I guess, following, following us for, I'm not really sure exactly how long, but, um, Probably since, I guess, chapter 2 he's been following us. I'm not really sure. Um, but, uh, yeah, if you kind of stay by those pipes, uh, you'll get a uh, discovery point. But as I've been reading around, I guess it's also called uh, moral choices or points. Um, I don't know. A discovery point. You know, whatever the fuck they call them. It's like once you see that flash on the screen, you know you've gotten one for something. Um, but uh, for this uh, level and the next one, uh, I think it's called Anomalies. Uh, or Anomaly. Uh, you can get the exorcist achievement for not dying during these two levels and any one of these moments where these kind of ghosts or apparitions um, I think I used that word right um, whenever those show up just kind of stay behind uh, Khan um, and you won't have to worry about uh, dying um, I think in the, th yeah, three times I've done this level and the next one I've never died. Um, at the end of this level and, the, and towards the end of the next one, there's two points when you have to face some Nasalis. And that's really the only point when you risk uh, the chance of dying but um, for the I'll go into more detail on the on the next level for that battle but I found a very easy way to to uh, survive that section um, actually I think when I first played it on normal and I wasn't sure if it would work in the ranger modes but it worked out just the same on uh, these two difficulties as it does on normal or even probably hardcore but uh, I'll go into detail on that in the next video um, so, um, not really much more strategy in this thing, it's kind of just like following Khan and kind of, you know, listening to what he has to say. Um, so, I've almost finished reading the Metro book, and it's quite a bit different compared to the game. Um, a lot of things they changed for the game. Uh, from the book, um, like a lot of things in the book never would have worked very well in in the game. Um, like in the book, you don't go up onto the surface until I think the third to last chapter. Um, and uh, a lot of character names are different. Um, you still meet up with Bourbon, and he'll take you to um, try. Oh yeah, that's one of the other things in the book. A lot of the station, the metro station names in the game, are completely different in in uh, the book. Like. Uh, Arnhem's home metro station exhibition in the book is called uh, I think it's like VDKMH or something like that like it's all capital but then the H is lowercase 
Um, and it's just a weird name for him, so it's, I guess, for the purpose of the game, it just, it's easier to say exhibition than VDKMH, I think I'm remembering that name right, so, um, but, uh, yeah, when you come into this area, um, kind of loot out uh, some ammo from this guy um, uh, what is it? Um, there's a little kind of scare moment where something crashes uh, but then go over here um, I guess you get a discovery point for finding that guy's body um, Loot the ammo, uh, and when you open the door up here, uh, you're gonna get attacked by, I think it's like four Nasalis, but, uh, Khan does a pretty decent job of, um, killing these things, I think, yeah, he pretty much killed, them. I think, all of them. Like, I didn't even kill that uh, first one that jumped at me, but, um, come into this room that's open now since the Nasalis jumped out, and there's some ammo, um, and then, uh, just follow Khan, pick up some more ammo, and then we will, and hopefully by this point you haven't died, um, and we will be moving on to Anomaly. And, uh, yeah, that's it.